Hey, what's up everybody? Fuller here. Welcome to part three of our three-part sound attenuation specialization in the Unreal 5 series. In this final video, I'm just going to talk about the attenuation setting called Focus. Uh, and this is a cool setting because what this does is this basically attenuates the sound based on what you see. And so this is helpful, especially if you have a lot of junk going on, if you have bombs exploding all over the place, you want the action to be where you're looking, otherwise it can just become a huge mess. Obviously you can use concurrency settings and make sure that only a certain amount of explosions are happening, but in, in the situation where you might want those sounds going, it's nice to be able to attenuate them based on where you're looking. And let me show you how to do that. So in our last video we talked about sound attenuation volume, we talked about occlusion now uh, and spatialization, now we're going to look at focus. So. What we're gonna do is I've set up a, a sound attenuation settings, uh, sound, sound attenuation, and I've created one called fire focus. Now in here I've disabled volume, I have left spatialization, I've disabled occlusion, and I am just gonna enable focus. Now um, we're gonna talk a little bit about, more about these settings in a second, but just let me show you how it works. So we're gonna click on fire, audio go down again we got to change our spatial our attenuation settings and we're gonna go focus now check this out so here we go we're in the game right we're looking at the fire what happens when we look away from the fire listen close so that's really cool um, as you get closer Boom. Boom. So this is called focus, and what this is doing is if you go in here and look under the settings, enable listener focus, um, you've got the focus azimuth, or azimuth, whatever, whatever that's called. This is the angle. So basically across the horizontal plane, 20 degrees. So the smaller that is, the tighter angle it is. Uh, your basically your field of view. So I got it about 20 degrees and then your non-focus is 50. So anything outside of 50 is where it attenuates the volume. So in, be in between 20 and 50 would be, you you're not going to hear much, but outside of 50, that's where you're going to lose, um, you're going to gain your attenuation, which is, is, is changing it down. You can focus the distance here. It will scale the distance so it, you can exaggerate it so it seems further away and up, cr up front closer. And this is just kind of manipulating the extremities of the volume. If you keep that at one, it's just going to do a moderate um, like we just had. Uh, focus volume attenuation. So this is the attenuation when you're looking at it and then non-focus when you're not looking at it. So if this was zero, you would not hear it when you looked away from it. It disappears. And that's not very natural, but it gives you an idea. So if you did like maybe 0.8, it'll be even super subtle. So here's full volume and then let's uh, look away. Super subtle almost can't hear it. So let's change this back to um, half. And so now when you look away, it's cutting the volume in half, which is pretty cool. Um, and then let's just go down really low to 0.2. There you go. Now we can also do this with the volume attenuation. So it's more realistic. So let's do that, add volume. And now we're further away but it's still attenuating it. And it's scaling this based on where we're at. And you can play around with the different levels. Maybe you want that to be a little higher. Maybe we'll go half. So that's, or actually, you know what? Let's go 0 0.6. And then uh, it's a little less extreme. Look away. Look away, baby, look away. All right, so there we go. Just look away. And then we'll walk over here and we'll hear the fire get softer. So that is the concept of attenuation focus settings. Um, so we talked about volume attenuation, we talked about spatialization, we talked about focus, we talk, uh, talked about occlusion. Um, there's one more, um, we t mentioned briefly uh, air absorption. It's basically just a low pass filter based off of where you're at in the world. So if I turn off focus and I turn off volume, let me just enable air absorption real quick 
minimum distance, let's go 1500, uh, or I'm sorry, minimum distance zero, maximum distance 2000, um, minimum is full, and then maximum, let's just go uh, a low pass filter of 150. So now you'll see this. That's air absorption. See, we're way out here, and you lose some of the high end, and then it starts coming back. And so that's kind of like a real, real world effect. It's not changing the volume, it's just changing the low pass filter. So you can mix these and match them to create a very realistic sound ambient world in your game. Anyways, I hope these videos were helpful. If they were, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next videos. Peace.